Matthew 28, 19 and 20 says, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witnesses both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and even to the remotest part of the earth. This is the great commission and the great plan that God gave us, and it's meant for every one of us. And it could mean going across the street, but it could mean going across the world. There are 6,000 unreached people groups around the world, people that have never had the chance to hear the gospel. That represents four billion people. We have to start working. We have to do the job. God has given us the task of reaching the Toon People Group. It's a group in East Asia of about 700,000 people that have never heard the gospel. We got the opportunity last week to visit and get to know them better and to learn how we can do this job. Toon people are people that used to live in the mountains and some of them still do. They are a village people and there are villages scattered throughout the region. We were able to visit four of those villages and one of the things that I came away with was that there is a diverse group. Because of government oppression, most of the young people have been driven into the big cities to get jobs. But there are older people that still live in these mountain villages, still worship ancestors, still do the traditional things. And then the young people go back to those villages at different times during the year for different festivals. We got to meet many of these people and they're just like us. They speak a different language and they live in a different world and have different cultural uh, things about them that, that would be a little strange to us sometimes, but they have the same need for a savior that we do. They, they're very uh, nice people. They were very enthusiastic to meet with us. Uh, they're very welcoming and they have a great heart. We have been praying for this opportunity for over nine years. And we have seen God do some tremendous things in this past mission trip and the way that the team was responded to and the way that people were coming toward that team and have allowed us the opportunity to come back and to have English corners, medical, and other things that we'll be able to provide as we're seeking to reach this people group. Our task is to go in to build relationships with these folks and then be able to share the gospel through the different things that we do. Here at West Conroe, we've been given the opportunity to adopt one of these people groups, to spread the gospel to East Asia, to a group of people called the Tunes. Right now, we are talking about doing three to four trips a year to go back to the same places over and over again so that they see us continually and we can build those relationships and eventually find that one person that gives their life to Christ and then they can, they can talk to others within their own village and eventually start a church growth movement there. Evangelism is a, a great thing that we want to, to do for this unreached people group. However, I think it's more important, at least in the early going, that we simply just show them the love of Christ. This is a long-term relationship. It will take dedication and commitment as we reach the tunes with the gospel of Christ. This is a huge task. It's a God-given task and it is beyond us. It is not something that we can do, but it's something that God's given us to do. And if he's given us the task, he's gonna give us the ability to be able to do it.